right. the laundry on that he wanted you to come to as well. Yeah. I need uh, exactly. tight twos with you. After the, All close up oh. with, with you. Oh, okay. Call me. Okay. How are you doing? How's it going, man? I was supposed to go to the studio though, and How's see it? you when you were there. Oh, and, I know. Uh, and I didn't want to just go. You know, yeah. I was waiting for them, someone to call, the reporter and call and tell me it was okay because I just wanted to show up, you know. Oh, but so I, I, know, I, I was waiting for you. I wanted you to come. But they sent some other guy to do it. They sent Lisa, else. but, you know, oh, they, they were doing a music girl. interview with that. Oh, yeah. All right, let's take this two ways since we can't tell the future. And we're recording this the night before the Oscars. Okay. If you lose, does that suck? No. It's okay. Yeah. Well, it depends on who I lose to. Ah. Yeah. And if, if you win, if, if now you get all, are you all involved in this emotionally? No. No. Not, it's not nice not. to be nominated. That's that, great. And that really is true. People Fantastic. always say that, but it really is it nice. It really is nice. I, I'm really proud of it. I'm proud of the part I played in the movie. I'm real proud of the movie. And I think it's a great thing. But uh, I, if I lose to James Coburn, I'm happy. Do you take compliments and criticism about the same, or are you a little thin-skinned maybe on the, on the uh, criticism side? I'm a little thin-skinned, yeah. And that, uh, again, depends on who's criticizing you? Uh, well, it depends on what they say. I mean, if it's if it's a genuine criticism that you know is constructive in some way, or, or if it's about the movie, you know, that's one thing. But when it's like sort of personal attacks and stuff like that, I have a hard time with. But it. haven't you been a little immune from that? Really, your career has been pretty blessed. Pretty I mean, blessed. People, they're pretty all blessed. into Billy Bob Thornton, yeah, particularly since pretty really blessed. Sling Blake forward. Pretty much so. I've got I've got a handful of people who, for some reason just want to take shots at me and and they're uh, you know m most of them are sort of like more fluff kind of mm -hmm. you know paparazzi type but there are a couple of critics who got to be up their bonnet about me or whatever i don't know it's just weird it wouldn't it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be a normal world i guess if that was true someone's yeah. got to be out there oh right? yeah what do you think about flight uh these guys that do this thing you know the flight controllers would, would you come up out thinking of that uh I think I respect them uh, a lot. They're something else. I mean, they, they have a real hard job to do, and it's it's just hard to keep it all organized. And they have to have an amazing head for this, you know. It's uh, just keeping, just knowing where everybody is all the time and keeping that straight. I mean, they can even talk to each other about something else and then go back to it and they know exactly where everybody is, how long it's going to take before they need to deal with this one again, you know, and that one. It's just, uh, it's a pretty amazing job. I have a huge amount of respect for them. They might be more neurotic than actors. And journalists. <laughs> Boy, I, I wouldn't blame them for it if they were, but uh, yeah, they have more reason to be, certainly, because you know, at the end of the day, our job is not that hard, really. You know, it's I think that we all get in this stuff because we're neurotic. But they've and, definitely got burnout capacity. Oh, yeah. oh absolutely. I could do that for a entire career, you know. I don't yeah, know. I don't know either. Yeah. Uh, Marty Stewart says that your eating habits in Nashville. He tried to get you to eat, uh, you know, no, no tofu or. You know, you just <laughs> L.A. food while you were there. He's yeah, the they kind of got on me about that. And uh, uh, I did pretty good. Uh, we got one night, uh, me and my pal, we got us a, a box of, uh, of uh, Krispy Kreme donuts. I did hear about that particularly. You know what? We got two boxes of Krispy Kreme donuts that were just off the press and finished them both. I mean, we ate those things like there wasn't going to be any more food. And have a Coca-Cola to drink with it, and you'll have oh, a sugar bath. Tell, tell me about it. And we do drink Coca-Cola. But I did hear that they had to kind of beat this L.A. thing out of you. You got a little, a little L.A. in your, in your eating, and yeah. they had to kind of bring you back. They didn't, they didn't, Marty and, and Connie and them, they don't get the uh, tofu deal at all. They're, no. they're not fond of it. Nor Jimmy. Jimmy doesn't get no, that either. No, he doesn't get okay. it at all. Yeah, a lot of them don't. Uh, uh, matter of fact, uh, they, uh, they, they practically you know, wrestle me to the ground over it. It was uh, something else. We right. did make it over to the Sunset Grill, though. As that's usual. okay, but that's pretty normal food. In fact, that's he's kind of L.A. anyway. Who, Marty? Well, no, yeah. the Sunset Grill. Oh, Sunset Grill. But if you're not watching, you don't know what Sunset Grill is. It's a, they're eating yeah. California cuisine. They are, really, yeah. But I, was, I heard the Dunkin' Donuts story, or the Krispy Kreme, whatever it was. Yeah, Krispy I, Kreme. I was My very proud God. of it. Good to see you again. Good to see you, right. man. Yeah, so he told Marty, I saw him on the street.